I'm so excited to tell y'all this. Hey y'all, so I am super excited to tell y'all the story. <sighs> I've been trying to tell people on Instagram when they um, ask me about lashing and stuff like that, but I want to tell y'all the real everything, the tea, lashing, me, because it's like y'all really don't know nothing about me. And I'm a Capricorn, so I'm very secretive, but I want y'all to know about me at the same time. If you know, then you know. So, as y'all see, I got my damn hair done. But, okay. So, how, um, how did I become a lash tech? So, I've been lashing for seven or eight months. Seven and a half months. Eight months, I'm not sure. But I first started last year. Um, was this last year? No. This was year before last. This was 20. Last year is 2022. So, it was 2020. Yeah, it was 2020. I was um, working at... Was this 2020? Yes, this was 2020. Yeah, it was. So I was working at Spectrum. I found a good job. I just had moved to, you know, where I was at, whatever. Like, whatever. So I was working at Spectrum. And this was like an amazing job. I was still in college and stuff like that. So I had moved to Spectrum and everything. And I'm just like, so I was working at Spectrum and everything. And... Well, I just had just got hired at Spectrum as a customer service representative. It was an amazing job. I was still in school, you know, I'm thinking because I was majoring in accounting and consumer experience management. So consumer experience management is like dealing with consumers. Excuse me, I'll just have some coffee. It's like dealing with consumers and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just like, okay. This would be perfect for, you know, me getting into my field and stuff like that, you know, having this job, you know, I can move up in a company, I can do this, I can do that. So I was working at Spectrum, I think in August or September of 2020. And mind you, this was around COVID and stuff like that. And they had us in the office, they had us in the office and stuff like that. but. I'm just like, the job is cool, you know, the hours is good, everything, like, it's, it's nothing really wrong with the job. Only thing my problem was is I couldn't pick the shifts that I wanted to work. I couldn't really do anything because I had Sundays and Mondays off. Oh, my God. Like, I feel like that was my worst issue, you know, like, me working specific hours and on specific days and i couldn't you know really switch and stuff like that with people at work because it's like you have to have different criteria to switch and then you have to go through you know the managers approving it and stuff like that so i'm just like this is just too much so i had end up finding somebody to switch my shift with because mind you it wasn't a bad job it's just i was working doing customer service and stuff like that um in the office so I'm just like, bruh, finally found somebody to switch. I'm like, yeah, maybe this is for me. Even though I wasn't happy there, I know I wasn't happy. Like, it's like, you know, you're not happy when you go into a job and you just like, bruh, I don't want to be here at all. Like, I'm not happy. Like, and it's, it's just nothing. Like, you know, you just get that just little energy, you know, like, this is not what you want to do, but you're forced to do it because you have no other choice. Well, you kind of do have a choice, but you really don't have no other choice, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just like, I really don't want to work this job. I really don't want to be here. Like, I just don't want to do it and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. Finally found somebody to switch with. We was getting ready to switch the ships and stuff like that. And last minute, the guy was like, oh, no. Um, you know, he, he didn't end up wanting to switch because he was like, um, his, his manager was sad that he was leaving and he was working there for, I guess, like 
not that not as long as I was working it well not as like I guess around like a little bit before I started working here and stuff like that so he was like oh you know we can I don't want to uh, switch shifts and stuff like that because my manager really likes me and I'm cool with my manager and you know um I was just talking to talking to him and you know, you get different managers, and I'm like, oh my god. So basically, I'm stuck with this damn shift. I don't know how long it took me to find that person or whatever, because I don't remember. But I was just so like upset. So I'm just like, bro, if I really, because I know I was doing lashes like I think 2018, 2018 or something around there, or maybe 2019. But I was only doing it for like a month. Not even a month. I was just doing it, like, for literally a couple weeks. And I wasn't certified or nothing like that. You know, I was just going off of the knowledge of my head. I wasn't watching no videos. I'm just like, bro, this is easy. Like, I get my lashes done. Like, this is an easy little hustle or whatever. So, I'm just like, let me just, you know, you know, promote myself on Twitter and stuff like that. And I'm just like, bro, I really don't want to do this. Did for a couple weeks. It was just something. So... I end up, um, I end up, um, I'm just like, bruh, I'm just in Snapchat and stuff, and I'm just scrolling down, and I'm like, I really want to find my own talent, you know, I want to find something that I want to do myself, you know, and stuff like that, so I'm just scrolling down my Snapchat, and I'm like, bruh, everybody got something that they like doing, why can't I find what I like doing, like, what is it, what is it, what is it, you know, you have to go through a lot of stuff to find out what you actually like doing like i try to do hair i'm like but i really don't want to sit there for hours doing nobody here like it's not for me i don't want to do it like it's just taking too long i don't want to deal with bleaching the wigs and you know plucking and all this and braiding it down and then some people got short hair and i'm not gonna do all that no nah, i'm not gonna do all that i don't want to do that like it's just every time i think about doing hair it just no. So I'm just like, this is not what I wanted to do. I thought it was. It's not what I wanted to do. So um I'm going down Snapchat and I'm like, dang, I remember I used to do lashes. I'm like, bro, if I really take that shit serious, I know I can go far and I already know how to do it. It's just only like a, a one little thing that I really am not sure about. And I did watch videos and stuff, but I'm like, I just don't know how to do this. I'm like, let me just go and take my, get my certification. I'm like, bro, if I get my certification, I'm 100% finna do this shit, like, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. So, yeah, I had went ahead and got my certification. You know, um, it was like $200. I'm like, knock that out the window. Like, let me just go ahead and get my certification from this girl so she could just teach me this one thing that I don't know how to do. And that was picking up lashes and stuff like that like the correct way and making fans and stuff so i'm like that's it so she taught me this technique y'all kept practicing over and over and over and over and over mind you that was this was in this was last year i had did this i had quit my job in spectrum because i didn't want to go back in like january january of 2021 and i was working at this little job at um fucking Home Depot, Home Depot was like a HVAC, I don't know, y'all, let me tell y'all, I was barely at that job, like, literally, I did not want to go to that job, I did not want to work that job, whatever, I'm not ashamed to say that I worked at, you know, certain places, because I know where I am today, and I know where I'm going, but I'm just like, bruh, I don't want to work here, but you know, like, when you have, like I said, when you have no choice, you gotta do what you gotta do, so I'm like, bruh, I really do not want to work this shitty ass job. So I'm just like, I'm just so miserable. I was just like in a miserable point in my life to where I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know how I'm going to get clients. How I'm going to do this. How I'm going to do that. How I'm going to do this. How I'm going to do that. And I'm just like, bruh, I just have to keep pushing myself, keep striving, you know, just be consistent. And I'm like, bruh, over time, if you keep just being consistent with yourself, you're going to see the results and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm finna take a step out on this limb and freaking, um, freaking, uh, start doing lashes. After I got my certification, I'm like, okay, I'm finna really quit this job. Once I quit this job, 
I need to find a way to get money. So I was doing Instacart and stuff. I was doing Instacart for a little bit. I'm just like, bruh, I don't even want to do, I don't want to do this either. I don't want to be driving around bringing people food, like, I, or groceries. Like, I don't want to do this. I, I like, y'all, no. So, basically, um, what had happened? Okay, so basically, after all this shit happened, and I'm still doing Instacart and shit, I was getting clients. So, anytime I went to the grocery store, this is how my marketing works. Like, I was not playing around. After I got my certification, I'm like, I'm going to get clients. I'm going to, like, me going into um, different stores during Instagram and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, let me just go talk to, you know, like, let me just give out my cards to anybody. Let me just give out my cards because practice makes perfect. All you need is somebody to practice on. So, I'm like, let me just give my cards out. So, I had a couple people. I'm like, okay. You know, I made my little flyer. I posted it on Instagram and stuff like that. And, you know, I just kept doing it over time. Anytime I went somewhere, I was passing my cards. Oh, I do lash extensions, you know, for cheap. Like, let me know, da, da, da. Passing out my cards. Like, this give me chills, y'all, because I'm, I'm so serious. <laughs> passing out my cards anywhere I go. I go to Walmart, go get some groceries. Oh, I do lash extensions, you know. um, You wear lashes, you know, on some cool shit. Like, and I know, yeah. So I'm like, I do lashes, you know, just trying to get clientele, gain clientele. I'm, you know, meeting people, my followers getting up anytime I go out to the club. Oh, I do lashes, I do lash extensions. And then I was doing it for like $60. Like, who am I getting no lashes for $60? And they look decent. They didn't look bad. They looked decent. But I'm like, if I keep practicing and just researching and knowing what I'm supposed to do, yeah. Y'all, I was like, I was doing Instacart. I was doing Instacart for a little minute. And I'm just like, okay, okay. My, I had like one client. I had opened up my books. I'm like, let me just take, you know, a couple days off. You know, let me just take like a little Saturday, Sunday off, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So some people was asking me, reaching out. They was like, oh, are you available? Um, such, such, such. I'm like, you know what? If you want me to be available, I'm available Saturday. I'm available Sunday. I'm available whatever you want me. Y'all. I did not like Instacart, but I was pushing my business so hard to where I, you know, didn't have to do it. So I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I don't want no off days, no nothing. I was working, I was working every day straight for like, I started in May. So May, June, July, August, September, October. I've been working every day straight for like, into January. This is January. No, this is February of 2022. January of 2022, I just started taking Sundays off. Just started taking Sundays off. Like, I, when I tell you I've been working every day, and, you know, I tell my friends and stuff like that, they'd be like, oh, no, you need to take an off day. You need to take an off day because, you know, you need to rest your body. You need to rest. I'm like, bruh, y'all don't understand me. I am a hard-working ass woman. Like, I don't, I don't know. I ran cross country. So if you ran cross country, you know, you have to have like a strong ass mental to run cross country. Like that's just not no joke. You run in three miles and you have to do three miles in like 15 minutes. Three miles in 15 minutes. You got to run. Okay. <laughs> so if you get it, then you get it. All, it's all in the mind. If you tell your mind to stop, it's going to stop. If you tell yourself, you know, you can go and do it and just keep striving and keep pushing, you're going to get there. But it's all in your head. Like, literally, that's what a lot of people don't understand. All of this shit is really in your head. If you tell yourself, oh, you know, I'm almost at the finish line. Let me just stop. Why would you stop and you're almost at the finish line? Keep going. You know, keep going. Push yourself a little bit more and you finna be done and in first place. That's just how winners win. Just keep pushing. Anyways, y'all was working every fucking day. Every fucking day because I'm like, at the end of the day, this is when my, my clientele started booming. So, you know, I'm... I'm it's May. It was May of last year, May of 2021. And then, you know, um, summer's coming around. Well, basically this is summer. So then June and then the 4th of July came. So when the 4th of July came, I'm like, okay, my clientele is kind of booming. Like I had two clients and like two or three clients in May out the whole month, out the whole month. I'm still promoting everything. June, my clientele started pick, picking up. I had like at least 10. So I'm looking at, I'm like, 10 clients out the whole month that's okay for a beginner that's pretty good for a beginner that's damn good and you just started a month ago that's damn good so you know i get to july 
I'm getting messages, DMs, everything. Oh, you know, because, you know, for the July, going to come up. Oh, I need my lashes done. Da, da, da. When I tell y'all, I was so motherfucking booked in July, like the the whole month. I would say like at least 20 days out of the month, I was booked. And I don't even, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't you know how i am now to where okay i can i can knock out like motherfucking 200 300 clients in a month literally because that's that's how i am but i'm just like you know i didn't know what the fuck i was doing but i keep cursing <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing but at the same time i'm gonna keep it raw with y'all but at the same time i wanted to get to where i was going so you know july was so packed so booked and then august come around it's school month I'm like, okay, you know, I'm posting everything. The thing that I told myself is, boom, you have to post. Anytime you do a set, post it. I don't give, I don't care if you make it, you gotta make it look good. Get the little mirror that, that put it under, make it however you wanna make it, tease them, whatever the case is. It has to look good. You have to take a picture of every single set because people wanna see your work. All them little posts and stuff like that, nobody wants to see that, nobody cares about that. They wanna see your work. If you come in with your work, Okay, they're going to put some money in your pocket. They're going to book with you. That's that. So I'm like, okay, you know, we in August. August, everybody going back to school and stuff like that. Whole month booked. I'm like, wow, wow. But my job's working every day. I was working every day. So I'm just like, it is what it is. Like, I was working from 7 to 9 p.m. 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. I was waking up at 6. Like, no joke. I cannot believe this. <laughs> so... I was doing this every day. My hours, yeah, they get shorter because I started working from 7 to 8, 8 to like 7, which is, it, it was what it was, but y'all, working my ass off, get to September, get to September, September, yeah, September, October, I'm like, okay, I started raising my prices and stuff like that because I'm, I was starting to see that my work you know was good like my prices was still like eighty dollars all those months and i was fully booked so i'm like okay maybe i need to start raising my prices a little bit more started raising my prices and stuff like that started gaining more clientele people that's willing like oh okay yeah 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 let me book with her for sure because her work is good her customer service is good whatever y'all i'm like i'm looking at my expense not my expenses but i'm just looking at the money that i'm earning i'm like bread what the fuck? Like, I'm just, you know, I'm just catching chills and shit because I'm like, you know, it's really all in the head. And this is how I really became like a full-time lash tech. Yeah, full-time lash tech. But yeah, yeah, full-time lash tech. But I'm, say I'm saying it because I'm doing another video on that too. But anyways, I'm just like, okay, 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 okay. And I'm still working every day. So I'm like, bruh. At this point, I moved into my new place and stuff like that. Moved into my new place, a nice place, a nice new place and stuff like that. My clients, like, if y'all would know, like, my clients, like, they know. My day one class from last year, they know. But I was doing what I had to do. I was doing what I had to do, and it, it was what it was. Moving into my new place and stuff like that, I ain't have nothing nothing in my apartment at all i didn't have nothing when i tell you nothing in here all i had was my last bed and my last room it was what it was like i'm just you know forever grateful for the shit that i have now moved into my apartment and stuff like that i just had my last bed in um my ring and stuff like that because i wanted new french i wanted new everything so y'all i'm just like i don't give a fuck I don't care, you know, that I don't have anything. I know what I'm, you know, like I said, I know to where I'm going to. And I'm just working extremely hard, still working every day, still having time to go out and hang with friends and stuff like that. Because you do, like, you can be a workaholic, but at the same time, you still need to have some fun. Like, enjoy your life, you know, like, don't be lazy, but don't be a workaholic. I always say this, like, make sure you do have a life go have some fun like go have some fun you don't have to lash all day every day go have some fun now if you have a goal in mind nothing's wrong with you know sticking to your goal and just working hard but go have some fun go out go do something like be social <laughs> so after that you know i started getting my furniture and stuff in my apartment 
and stuff like that. But January, because y'all been getting extremely booked, like extremely booked. So I'm just like, okay, I'm just at a point to where, I'm just at a point to where, okay, um, they gonna book regardless. If it's an open day or anything on a the calendar, they're gonna book it. If it's a Sunday open, they gonna book it. So I'm just at a point where I'm like, bruh, because I used to be at a point a couple months ago. Well, not now, but then back then I used to be at a point where I'm like, this day open, they probably, like one person probably going to book on a Sunday. But it's like, no, anything that I open, they're going to book. So I'm like, I got to close it. And, you know, I'm very grateful for where I am today and going towards because, shit, I want to take this last shit, like, up. Like, it's like, you know, I like, I like doing it. And I actually... Like, this is, like, a real-life hobby to me. I really like Lash, and I like meeting new people. I like, you know, for females to wake and be like, oh, my God, like, I love my lashes. Like, I love that. That's that's the look that I die for. Like, I love that. But I just started taking Sundays off, like, in January, and I'm just like, Sundays is off. Sundays is off. I need to, you know, relax and, you know, just chill and stuff like that because y'all working every day straight for like may june july august for six months you gotta do what you gotta do but everybody ain't able <laughs> but yeah so this video is letting y'all know how i became a lash tech because i know a lot of people been asking a lot of people curious about how i became to where i am today and I just want to give y'all some inspiration because if you are watching this and want to become a lash tech, hold on, like, comment, subscribe real quick. Like, comment, subscribe. But if you are liking and wanting to become a lash tech and stuff like that, it's easier. It's really easy. I am going to say easier said than done. It's really easy. If you are watching my videos, I'm going to let you know how easy it is because a lot of people try to hide these secrets and try to make it so secretive and stuff like that and it's not i'm giving y'all the full game all the time everything raw like it's no cutting corners or anything like i'm gonna just keep it 100 percent blunt because the shit is easy so that is really how i became a lash tech and stuff like that like i classify myself as a lash tech a pro lash tech at that because y'all came a long way I came a long way. If I was sure which y'all some pictures, like I still got some fucked up pictures of how my Instagram used to look and stuff like that. Like when I first started doing lashes, but y'all, as you, if you can see now, you can see, if you can see now, you can see. <laughs> so I just hope this video encourage y'all to keep going. If you are starting, keep pushing. If this is what you really want to do. Lashing, um, you know, it, it has its times. But if this is something that you really want to do, not because you've seen everybody else do or not because you think it's popular, if you really feel like this is a hobby for you to do and you like it and it's therapeutic to you, not because, you know, you want to make some bread or whatever, but if you find this, like, really enjoyable, you'll have fun with it. Like, it's, it's really fun. It's really fun. But if y'all want some more tips and stuff just leave some comments and stuff below and just like comment subscribe i hope this video was so helpful because y'all is nosy as hell and y'all always asking me questions and i give them to y'all but i hope this video was so helpful and i'll see y'all in the next video